Hey, how you doing? And welcome to LiveWire's Buy, Hold, Sell. I'm Ali Selby. And so investors can avoid kicking own goals in their portfolios, we're running onto the ASX's pitch and looking for a couple of strikers and defenders for the year ahead. To do that, we're joined by James Rutledge from Perpetual and Raz Buyan from Wavestone Capital. First up, we have Macquarie Group, a crowd favourite and a long-time grower. Its share price has lifted nearly 130% over the past five years. James, I might start on you. Is it a buy, hold or sell? Yeah, Macquarie's a hold for us. Um, it should be benefiting a lot from the current volatility that we're seeing in the market. But you know, for a business that's delivering mid to high teens returns, um, being priced at three and a half times uh, price to NTA, that's quite a, quite a high level for us and you need to see them deploy more capital uh, to, to, gener to justify those, those high prices. So for us, it's a hold. Macquarie posted a record quarter of earnings in Feb. Raz, over to you. Is it a buy, hold or sell? It's definitely a buy for us. Um, they're obviously going to have uh, the volatility that James talked about in gas markets. That's going to kind of give them, uh, we think they're going to have a cracking result in May when they announce their full year results. Next year, of course, is another thing, but we like the exposure that they've got to infrastructure and the green transition. It's a buy. Next up, we have Mineral Resources, which has been a major success story over the past two years. Might start on you, Raz. Is it a buy, hold or sell? We think it's a buy because basically what's going on in Perth with all the new energy metals and stuff is just amazing. They've also got a mining services business, which is doing incredibly well. Uh, they've got exposure to lithium, which we think will develop quite well. And they've obviously got a high cost iron ore mine, which is what the market's a bit worried about. But we think that they've got options there to convert that to a lower cost miner. So it's a buy. Its share price is down around 15% in 2022. Should investors be taking advantage of this share price weakness and buying the dip? Is it a buy, hold or sell? Yeah, I agree with Raz. We think it's a buy. Um, the management team have grant, done a great job of, of uh, using their knowledge in the mining contractors to, to really grow the value of the assets historically. We, we are a bit concerned that there's a, there's a lot of capex coming down the, down the pipe. Um, but notwithstanding that, if iron ore prices hold up, then we should be able to see you know, good value being driven out of the, those assets. We have another long-term grower now at Seek. It was founded by the Bassett brothers in 1997. It's expanded around the globe since then. Is it a buy, hold or sell? That's a sell for us. Uh, cyclically, the business is, in, is, is doing very well at the moment, given the tight labour market across Australia and Asia. But again, the valuation is, is quite challenging. You know, well above 40 times earnings, that's a sell. It's down around 15% as well since the beginning of the year. Raz, is it a buy, hold or sell? It's, I think as James pointed out, I think it's doing incredibly well right now. It's a hold for us though because of valuation. Um, they, they've got great assets around the world. The issue is how much of it is cyclical because obviously unemployment's so low or, or with uh, some of the stuff that, that's going on with you know, millennials is, is more structural in terms of job hopping and stuff, which could change the way the SIG business looks in the long term. Let's talk about some of the more defensive companies now. We've got Woolworths, food, supplies, everyone's favourite item to stockpile, toilet paper. Raz, is it a buy, hold or sell? It's a buy for us. Um, obviously, the food inflation's coming through so, and, it's, and Woolworths has got pricing power, so it's good for inflation. But the other big thing that we like is um, Brad Banducci, who's the CEO, has invested quite heavily on the online side. And now they're twice the size on their online business compared to their nearest competitor. And our view is in five years time, they'll be even bigger because that's part of the business is growing faster. So it is a buy for us. Its share price is down around 3% year to date, just under the ASX 200. James, over to you as well, a buy, hold or sell? It's a hold for us. Uh, as Raz says, the top line's grown very impressively over a number of years and they've put a lot of uh, capex into the business. Um, but we're concerned that management don't have their hands around the costs um, and costs continue to be an issue. Inflation, um, as Raz says, should be a good tailwind for the business, but we think that's being reflected in the multiple that you have to pay today. Gold is considered a safe haven in times of crisis. Newcrest, is it a buy, hold or sell? Yeah, Newcrest is a buy for us. Um, so typically when you'd see real rates move from negative to positive, gold would be a pretty challenging space to invest. But given uh, the freezing of FX reserves from Russia, we think that'll cause central banks to really revisit their, their gold holdings and should uh, support the gold price. Newcrest uh, is very cheap relative to, to gold majors. Uh, it benefits from a higher copper price with the byproduct. And the, the market's concerned about production issues, but we think that's more than reflected in the price. 
Mm, it's actually done quite well this year. It's up 10%, which is good compared to the rest of the market. Raz, over to you. Is it a buy, hold or sell? Um, it's actually a sell for us because uh, I agree with James that the geopolitics has really kind of taken the gold price up despite the fact that real rates are kind of going up. We, we think the moment the Ukraine conflict, we get some sort of clarity around that. Given where real rates have moved, we think the gold price is probably going to be under the pump a little bit. With Newcrest, I think they've got the issue that, as James pointed out, that Cadia, which is their best mine, the grades are going down, so they need to put a ton of capital in front of it, and we are kind of quite worried. We really like the CEO, Sandeep, who's done an exceptional job to take the business here. But from here, we feel that they're quite challenged in a lot of their assets. We hope you enjoyed that episode of Buy, Hold, Sell today. If you did, why not give it a like? Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're adding new content every week.